Good morning, church. I've got some friends on stage with me this morning. We're gonna have some parent and child dedication here in just a moment, uh, but I wanna take this opportunity to welcome you to Cedar Crest Church. My name's Van, I'm the senior pastor here, and we just desire to be a Jesus church. That's what it's all about around here. Everything that happens from in this room to back in our kids' hallway to our students, to all throughout our community is all about looking as much like Jesus as we can look and following him wherever he's going. Whatever Jesus is up to, we wanna be up to the same. And one of the great things that we have a privilege of doing around here is following his ways uh, as it comes to dedicating families and kids to his ways and then eventually praying them into a personal relationship with Jesus where they might one day choose on their own to be baptized in believers' baptism. And so it starts for us at the youngest possible age, but uh, sometimes there's older kids or families that are new to our church and they just say, hey, you know what? I wanna dedicate my kids to God. And so that's what we're gonna have an opportunity to do here this morning. And Kelly Vandergriff, where are you? There you I'm are, Kelly. Kelly, would you introduce these amazing families to us? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna back this way. Um, this is the Thompson family, Trent and Laura Thompson, and they are dedicating Bennett this morning. This is the DeVictor family. Nathan and Jessica, and they are dedicating Ellison and Emma. That's you. That's you. This is the Lambert family, Kyle and Alicia, and they are dedicating Julia and Elise. Very fresh. Good morning. This is the Steed family. Hello, Steeds. I don't want to call you by the wrong name. This is Dylan and Catherine, and they are dedicating Henry, Charlotte, and Millie. Millie is fascinated by the key player back there. Um, this is the Aiken family. We've got Trevor and Gloria, and they're dedicating Wayne. You are not Wayne, girl. <laughs> I was about to call you Wayne. And Audrey. Sweet girl. This is the Calloway family, Christine and Justin, and they are dedicating their daughter, Sophia. And last but not least, the Berg family. I wanna call them the Bags every time. It's such a German name. Um, this is Jamie and Kelly Berg, and they are dedicating Audra, Ava, and Annika. Awesome, can we give these families a round of applause? Just, hey there. Way to go, families, just even being here on time today. I, I remember the years of getting little ones in the car, and that was a 30-minute experience in itself, just how many straps and things you had to put together. Uh, we're so proud of you guys. So, so thankful that you have chosen to raise your kids in the fear and admonition of the Lord. And it is an honor and a privilege today here just to come around you as a church family as we have this special time. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna read a charge to the families. And when I'm done reading this whole charge, I'm gonna ask you if you're willing to commit to what I've, I've asked you to commit to. It won't be anything surprising uh, that you will respond in one voice with we will. I'll make that or, or apparent here in just a moment. And then I'm gonna turn around and I'm actually gonna charge you guys with some things, because we believe that this is a family, a church family, and we're all involved and we all play a part. In fact, I see some of our orange shirts out here. Those orange shirts are people that actually serve in our kids' ministries on Sunday mornings, and so I just thank you. Those of you that are serving, you've already been serving. Even many of you were up here on Wednesday night for our Parenting on Purpose night, giving up your time, because it takes a family for these kiddos to have what they need. And so, families, here we go. We got some talkers. I love it, man. You, you guys are amazing. I wish some Sometimes y'all were out here because they would be a little more interactive when I'm preaching. Maybe we can get that figured out sometime, Kelly. I don't know. We can bring the kids in here for a little bit of fun, right? Maybe? Okay, all right, we'll figure it out. Maybe even for the worship. I mean, worship. Come on, we can have some signs and some motions for worship. Okay, families, <laughs> back on task here. Fam families, parents, uh, grandparents, aunts and uncles, you can all actually take part in this if you know these families. Do you commit to put the health of your marriage before the raising of your children with the understanding that a strong family begins with a strong marriage? And do you further commit to model the life of a follower of Jesus, understanding that this will be the most powerful witness your children will receive? And do you further commit to raise your child within the encouraging community of the local church to instill the value of authentic community found only in the body of Christ? And do you finally commit to pray for your child without ceasing, that they would one day begin a personal relationship with Jesus and grow as his disciple. If this represents the desire of your hearts, then respond with, we will. 
Awesome. We love you guys. We love you guys. All right, church, your turn. I wanna hear some strong voices, okay? Congregation, do you commit to pray for the children of Cedar Crest as the Lord leads, that they would know the love and guidance of Jesus from the earliest possible age? And do you further commit to be an encourager and supporter of the next generation, always believing the best of them, even when the music's loud? And do you finally commit to be the authentic community that these families will need through the years ahead? If this represents the desire of your heart, will you respond with, we will? That's what I like. Come on, come on. Way to go, 915. A little bit of coffee got you going. That's what I like. Well, hey, here's what we're going to do. We're going to extend a hand towards these families. And what I always encourage our folks to do is pick out a particular family or even maybe a particular child. You might not even know who they are, but there's just something in your heart. The divine flow just has guided your attention to one particular child or one particular family. And as we extend hands, I want you to pray over them what you would want prayed over you if you had a little crumb snatcher running around your house or still in diapers or keeping you up at night, what would you want your church family praying over you? But first and foremost, we want you to pray that they would know the goodness and the love of God. Let's pray together as we extend hands. Lord Jesus, we love these families and we're so grateful for them. We're grateful for the way that you have already begun to move in their lives, God, for the way that you are even right now putting your hand on these little ones, Lord, blessing them today in the name of Jesus, God. We just say you are the ruler and you are the king of our lives. You are the foundation. And so for all these little ones and all these parents today, they're saying we need God in our lives. Lord, would you fill them with Holy Spirit? Would you give them everything that they need? Would you give them financial provision? Would you give them emotional provision? And I pray, Lord, that we as a church would do our part as a spiritual family to come around them in those days and weeks and months and years ahead. Uh, God, as you give them uh, your goodness and your presence, we do pray for this, God, that they would all come to know you at the earliest possible age. And it's with one voice we say, we love you, Jesus. And it's in your name we pray, amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Let's give them one more round of applause as they head back out.